Hi everyone, I'm the Plant Propagator and welcome to my channel. Today I'm coming at you from my backyard in Southwest Florida and yay, we have, we have internet here. Uh, came back yesterday afternoon, so still, still feeling a, a bit of the results of Hurricane Ian. Uh, but what I want to do today is share with you a story and some um, images or um, videos that I took of, uh, from other areas to show you the impact uh, that Ian has had uh, on uh, some of my plants and, and the, some of the things in, in the area. Uh, first of all, it's a little bit of a different look in my backyard now. It's a lot <laughs> lighter back here because the palm trees that are overhead lost uh, a lot of leaves that were ripped out or bent uh, over. Uh, so the hurricane just kind of whipped the leaves back and forth and in these trees the leaves weren't pulled out but it damaged the base of the leaves enough so that they were just hanging down and I had to cut them out before they, uh, they fell down. Uh, also some of the plants, the, the alamanda that's right here, the bougainvillea that's back that way, um, those, those pretty much are stripped out and sometimes it didn't look like there was that much wind damage but over time and with the weather that we've been having it's been a little warm and and dry not very humid and the leaves have just been falling off of a lot of the trees it's like fall in florida but we don't really have fall here uh, a lot of the oaks uh the the bougainvilleas are stripped everywhere but um you know, the mango tree next door is, is stripped of leaves, so there's a lot more light getting through, which is not good for, for the babies and for the orchids. Um, but um, anyway, what I want to do today is show you some of uh, these plants and emphasize these plants. So these are uh, some uh, butterfly orchids, Encyclia tampensis. And um, these have, there's an interesting story behind these. So these are really nice uh, plants right here. And they're, they're about two and a half years old. They were seedlings that I grew uh, in the laboratory. And I grew in the greenhouses in my old university laboratory in the Midwest. And then I transported these down here uh, before the hurricane and put them in uh, the park, which is where they're destination is. So they're going to be mounted in trees and it's a coastal park right on the beach down the street from me about a you know about a mile and a half mile and a quarter uh, and I've already mounted a lot of these there but this is the biggest batch and I brought them down to mount and, and I put them in the park and I was real happy. I had a, pl a place, I have my nursery area in the park, a place that I set aside for them. I even put some uh, Illuminat uh, screening, shade cloth overhead and I was real proud. I had a perfect place for growing these guys and acclimating them to Southwest Florida. Uh, I brought down maybe around 200, 250 plants and again these are these, these are nice plants. You can see, I don't know if you can see, the roots growing down, down the side. These are great plants uh, in, in good shape. And I had them in the park and I, on, a, on a bench, shaded in a nursery area, and I was really proud of it. And I made a video of these plants in my nursery area covered uh, with the Illuminate shade cloth and protected, and they were loving it and doing well. Uh, and then, and then the hurricane hit, um, and so I got to give give credit, and it's it's why the name of this video is "My Wife Is a Genius." Well, first of all, you should know that, regardless, my wife is a genius. Most wives are geniuses, and I want to go on record as, as saying that. But um, my wife suggested to me the morning of the hurricane that what well, before anything had gotten really bad to go. Um, to the park and rescue these guys and you know I didn't really know how bad uh, the surge was going to be and how bad the hurricane was was going to be and it was getting closer and there's a lot of last second changing of paths and things like that and so we got in the truck and we rescued these plants and put them in the back of my pickup truck and parked the truck in the garage and they were protected 
So these guys, uh, they were fine. They did well. I put some of my other orchids that are behind me in the garage also. And, and as I've shown you in the previous video, some of these, most of these guys did, you know, did really well. There were no issues with them. Some of them were swinging back and back and forth so much that they fell out of their hangers. Uh, but they were just on the ground and I repotted them. But these guys were right in the path of the storm surge. And again, it's about a mile and a half that way. Um, and they were they were in a bad place, and so we um, so I rescued them and I brought them home, and they're doing they're doing fine. And and look at them, and, and like I said, these are this is about um, this is about a hundred plants here, and I've got more um, more here. Uh, I, I normally I don't want to store them here because I didn't have the space, but and that's why I put them put them in uh, you know in the state park nursery area, um, but I. You know, I, I we just had to rescue them and and brought them brought them here and stored them here uh, while the storm while Ian came through. Um, we went to the park today, and I am now so happy that these guys were rescued because in the park there was really uh, quite a bit of damage. My nursery area where I had the Illuminate that used to be like this was, and in this video I can show you the Illuminate is now down on its side, the bench that I had all these plants on is gone. All the other plants that were on the bench, and these are just some other uh, local plants that were in the park. So I've got, you know, tropical sage, I've got porter weed, some native plants that I also grow and pop propagate for the park in pots that were left there. I have no idea where those plants are. So everything got swept away. There were, um, there's four-wheel um, uh, um, all-terrain vehicles that are on the side that are upside down. There was a garbage, there was a dumpster that was just apparently picked up and floated and smashed into a, uh, a pickup truck uh, that was in the park. Um, it was just, it was just quite, um, quite a mess. But I, you know, but I am happy that I got these plants back because they would have been swept away. Many other plants that I had there, there was, you just couldn't, you, you couldn't see, even see where they were. Um, in looking at some of, the, uh, some of the areas, the garden areas that I took care of, I was surprised to see that there was a, a very small uh, retaining wall that I had built on the inside of my garden, and I call it my gopher tortoise barrier because, barrier because what happens is the gopher tortoises used to crawl into my garden and eat the plants that I had propagated very specially. So they would, so I built a sit just a six inch wall, a small wall, so that the gopher tortoises couldn't get to my plants. And uh, that wall, I, I built it well. That wall is still there uh, in this garden area that I had. Um, there was another wall that's on the outside that, um, that again, was just a short barrier wall. That wall is, is gone. Um, with it, as far as the orchids that I mounted in the park, uh, some of those, they're still there, but they're beat up pretty, pretty badly. Um, so they had nice roots. They've been mounted in the park for one to two years. They had a nice root system that had it attached itself to the plant. Um, or to the to the tree trunk, um, but they got beat up, and you can still see some green in the leaves on those. But the wind and the uh, the, the water force was so much stronger there than it was here that I'm, I'm not really sure if they'll they'll make it or not. So we'll see. Um, you know, these guys are pretty hardy, and we'll see. Um, but things got beat up pretty bad. At the beach area at the uh, at the park, it was also uh, there was also quite a bit of damage. Um, the many of the plants, uh, and these are mostly um, sea grapes, uh, and there's some I think Australian pines that were planted pretty that are close to the shore that just came up that have been there for years and years and years. A lot of those just are gone, and you can see there's a lot of browning in this. In this video, there's a lot of browning of the plants that were close, that were in the edge of the beach area, just because the wind was so uh, so severe. So it really did um, it really did a lot of damage. Uh, I do not have any video showing the sand that is now up around four or five feet on the roads that go through the park, and and those haven't been that hasn't been dug out yet. So I, but I was just I could walk over those dunes and the sand, 
in order to get to the areas in the park that I needed to see to evaluate how the plants looked in the park. Now what I'm going to do is I've saved seed <laughs> and I'm going to replant seeds from plants that were native to the park and I'm going to see if I can find any other local uh, accessions of plants that I can use for repopulation. Uh, but the situation in the park is, is not great, um, but it'll, it'll, and I think it'll take a while to, to reopen and restore. Um, anyway, I wanted to share the story with you of uh, the survival and the rescue, again, of these Encyclia tampensis uh, seedlings. Uh, and they're healthy and happy, and they're looking forward to, the, to a time that they can go back out in the park. It's going to be a while, again, because the trees in the park have lost most of their leaves. So those trees that provide the shade that I have here that these orchids like so much, uh, it's going to take a while, at least a year, for those to regrow their leaves and provide the shading that the orchids need for survival. So that's all I have for today. I wanted to share that information with you. If you like what you saw today and you want to continue to see my videos, it would help me out if you can click on like, share, and subscribe to my channel if you are not already a subscriber. So that's all I have for today and happy propagating.